Hi everyone, uh, we already made a spoon, we already made a fork, now we're going to make a knife. This tutorial shows you, uh, we start with a cube, sorry. Uh, this tutorial will show you in a quick way how to do it. This is not uh, a standard one, there's a no up. We face selection, right click, bring it down up to there somewhere. We bring that up just above the line. Okay, and we right click and we bring it to this yeah, something like that. Okay, now we're going to stretch that one. This is the Y axis, this is the X axis, and up is Z. We're going to stretch it like that. Just a little bit more. Yes. Uh, we're going to use the S in the X direction to largening a little bit. Okay, we produce E, Y to make it longer like that and we s y uh, sorry s x to shrink it in that direction this is later on to put uh, roll probably too small so we're going to lift it a little bit right click shift right click and we make it a little thicker otherwise there will be nothing left this is the handle Okay, on this side, we're going to stretch E, Y, to there, left mouse click, S, in Z direction only, because we want to hold the knife over the whole edge, it's probably better than it smaller, yeah, good, now we're going to put the blade on, E, I, and we make it up to here, just left left press and now S in uh, you can see over here sorry you can see over here which direction you have to switch this this is a sum of control this uh, we use S X to shrink it but we make it bigger yeah we uh, so much a little more like that and we position it right this has to be straight like this okay now we're going to e y again make it a little more longer like that and we shrink it s in which direction the sorry x direction yeah something like that and we reposition it again this in line with the other one okay good this is for the knife okay the no that's not that good but well okay we will we'll adjust it in a few seconds uh we go to selection tool uh, edges or uh, uh, press b and we make this one a little bit smaller sorry forgotten touch this because visible and invisible selection okay like that okay and we're going to enlarge that one let's right click on that one and, uh, left mouse drag right, uh, right and make that one a little larger uh, also probably that part b again let me put it somewhere over here okay first of all we're going to uh, set that you see this is going to give me some problems uh, we, because uh, I haven't straightened it out correctly. Okay, we finish it again. If the selection edge bring it flat, selection edge bring it flat like this. Uh, this edge selection and bring it flat also. Okay, this is a good. Go. We go to the edge selection. Left last click, and we press Shift while we clicking on every edge we want and these edges will be make a little round just, just these otherwise you get in trouble with the rest of uh, the things uh, these we, we can also select and it's probably better that we switch out otherwise you get in trouble later on uh, okay control b for bevel and uh, if you're at that position turn so and the more you turn the more realistic the edges will be 
we press and it is done you see here you have a very nice pre-cut and we do the same over here this uh, i'll switch it off and i'll select them now let's so right click on that one and we turn underneath shift right click on that one we go to b control b again and we bevel it like this but you will see that it's a big bevel so yeah good now we have two more to go we have one over here right click control b make it large and now roll in the middle with the mouse a few times not too much otherwise you have a uh, lot to select and the same over here right click control b and roll be sure that you let you leave some at the top in a few minutes you will see why okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put the edge on the, on this side so uh, we use the face selection tool for that just left right click on that one and we use the shift uh, we, we press in the shift uh, for the whole uh, procedure let we right click on every face that we have over here a little bit these also selected yeah and we select that one also uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it and shrink it in Z direction so we press S Z and we go down pay attention that you don't go too deep otherwise you get in trouble and you get an over an overshoot you can make it smaller like that okay this is rather looking nice you see good the only thing now left is and that's what i told you a few seconds ago pay attention to that one that you don't go too thin otherwise you get in trouble uh, edge selection and we select right click that edge control b to bevel it and let's hope he does it that it is not too small and do it again sorry a little further out control b but this is rather difficult to select uh, yeah it's too fine now see if you got too fine he, he won't do it you saw, you saw that but this is too much it's too narrow to do it so i'll leave it in uh, that way okay um yeah i think uh, we're approximately ready this is our knife we're going to render it this where is the camera and the, okay we select first of all we're going to select the go to edit mode from edit to object mode yeah and we switch on the camera and we position it somewhere over here uh, we put the light on and we say for instance to shift control t to go to the opposite side uh, i have to move on a little bit because uh, maximum time for me is 15 minutes uh, okay this is looking good and we put the, and we're gonna have a like, quick look at the camera just to do that you do the num uh, zero and you can reposition uh, i will shrink it down just by press selecting the the knife you can position it like this uh, to bring it in order uh, uh, well probably turn yeah it probably better turn it a little bit so we press zero to go out again and we press one and we will ro rotate the r to rotate a little bit like that press zero to see if it is okay yeah it's worked nice and now we're going to render you can give it a color or uh, the, the light is uh, too much in the front so but you understand what it is so i think i don't have to explain that again to you let's say zero five and the other one leave it again I'll render it to see what's happening okay this is looking rather nice Thank you for watching. If you like it, please like my channel. Bye.